Hello, my name is Ryan Zakos with Zakos Realty here out of Sarasota, Florida. Today I'm going to talk to you about four neighborhoods or communities that I believe are best for families. I'm going to start with one of my favorites in all of Sarasota. It is Southside Village. Southside Village is a long established neighborhood that is west of the trail. We call the Tamami Trail, US 41, the trail down here in Sarasota. It's a long established neighborhood. The neighborhood is lined with these big trees. You'll find every type of home in this community from early 1900 bungalows to classic Florida ranches to white modern buildings to colonial style homes. So what I love that feel. There's all different types of architecture, all different types of ages of homes. It has a wonderful feel to it. What makes this community so wonderful is its proximity and geographical location. You are so close to the bay. Right over from the bay is the beach and then you are a short bike ride to downtown Sarasota. Downtown Sarasota has tons of things to offer and even in Southside Village there are some shops, wonderful restaurants, cafes, coffee shops. Some of the best places to eat, dine, relax, work, whatever it is, is right there in Southside. Another great characteristic to Southside Village for families is it's A-rated, probably deemed as one of the most popular elementary schools in all of Sarasota, and that's Southside Elementary. So Southside is a definitely a great place for families. You are gonna pay for its location though. The prices of these homes probably start in the 500s at the lowest. Next community I wanna talk about, I'm gonna talk about Laker Ranch. I'm gonna focus on one community, Laker Ranch, but as we know, Laker Ranch is a community of 18,000 homes and still building, 28 different villages or neighborhoods within Laker Ranch. Ranch. I'm going to focus on one that's Mallory Park. Mallory Park is a wonderful community. It has an A-rated elementary and Gullet Elementary School. It has an A-rated middle school in Dr. Mona Jane, which is brand new, adjacent to Bob Gardner Park. So it's a wonderful place where families can go walk, enjoy the outdoors together. Mallory Park itself has some wonderful amenities. There's some sports courts, resort style pool, fitness center. There's a lot of things going on there. So it's wonderful for the family. But being that the school district is so great, it's a definitely a hot spot for families here locally. Lakewood Ranch in general has a very good school districts. Uh, all the schools pretty much within Lakewood Ranch are all A rated. So Lakewood Ranch in general is a great place to look if you are a family looking to set up shop down here in the Sarasota, Florida area. The next one I'm gonna talk about is a community in Welland Park. Welland Park is another master plan community like Lakewood Ranch, and Grand Palm is a village or a neighborhood within Welland Park. Just like Mallory Park, Grand Palm has wonderful amenities. There's the resort style pool, the fitness centers, there's the nature trails, there's the adventure playground, they call it there. The pool actually has a, a water slide, which I know families and, and especially young kids will enjoy. There is the A-rated Taylor Ranch Elementary that is zoned for Grand Palm. So Grand Palm would be another place to consider if you are a family looking to move to the area. The last community I want to talk to you about is just north of Sarasota. It's in Bradenton. It is the Manatee River District. What's wonderful about the Manatee, Manatee River District is one, you could find some value there um, compared to some of these other communities that we're talking about, but also the location. You can walk from this Manatee River District or the Bradenton River District to the river, there's tr there's a, a trail, sidewalks, there's, you can walk miles along the Manatee River. You can head into downtown Bradenton where there's some wonderful uh, restaurants and dining. You could also go to the Village of the Arts, which is a cool little district right near downtown Bradenton. And there's about 30 businesses that, you know, they're made up of restaurants, cafes, um, yoga studios. There's tons of different types of businesses that are, are there. This place is, it's wonderful. It's really unique, bright buildings, cool artwork. It's a really cool area area and you know the, the river district has some neat historical elements to it you can't miss the the huge oak trees that are lining the street historical black lampposts that line the streets that lead the residents down to the river so whether it's fishing the river whether it's shopping whether it's dining whether it's strolling the village of the arts all these things about this area make this river district a unique and appealing area for young families i hope you enjoyed today's video i'd love to be a resource for you Please do not hesitate if you have any questions. I look forward to talking soon.